Okay, good day everyone. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to explain to you how do I actually personalize my Moodle. Okay, you can't actually change the background or all of this is set by the admin. But what you can do is personalize it at the summary page. Okay, that would be yours. So student would actually know that that's your, your Moodle. Okay, now what um you can do is just have some instead of just uploading notes after notes then it'd be stack of notes you can have some description here and make it fun okay so for example you can actually state the objective what are you planning to do little notes on what are you going to talk about add some infographic and also some gif okay so i'm going to teach you how do you add gifs and pictures to your um introduction so if it's just plainly words it'd be very boring so what i normally do is i add gif that would make it interesting so i put my cursor here because i want my gif to be here so upload find image choose choose so make sure you have downloaded all the gif that you want upload it okay so this happened because i've done it just now so you go to your appearance if you see it's too large change it to 70 and then you insert okay and you have your gif there okay so similarly i want let's say because this is an objective so i have the objective here okay now let's say if i want to have something here in regards to because this is a question i want to have a gif question so i go and find the gif on question here open upload you can just override it and then same change to 70 insert okay you have this here so if you see it's much more interesting okay now um i have a bang here so probably we can add another gif on bang something to do with explosion so i have this upload and then it's too large so change it to 70 insert okay and you have that here now i'm going to insert my infographic so what i'm going to do is i want my infographic to be here so i'll go to same thing choose i'm going to choose my infographic okay so writing the conclusion this one upload so my infographic is too large so probably i'll just put it at um let's say 500 and then i insert it let's see very nicely done okay so you see your student can actually look at your infographic but remember to also add um, your infographic upload your infographic below so that they can download the infographic and how do you add videos so now i have my blackson video here okay what i do is i just go to share I go to embed, I copy, and then I go here, go here, click this, and okay, let's see. This is the lecture here, edit here. So you need to find where did you write it. Enter, enter, you can clear this off, enter, and then paste your embedded here update so you see your lecture video is there okay so now i want them to also upload the practice into padlet so what i do is similarly i'll go to padlet i go to padlet click this copy this go back to your model go back to this part and then find out where did you write it okay this Here's the video and then you will padlet right here. So you add it. Enter, enter, enter. Click. 
you have your that and you upload you have your padlet ready here so basically that is how you upload your videos embed your videos and add on your gif so now you save changes And then you would have your Moodle page. And if you see all my Moodle has all my Moodle has all of this. Let's see. I have all the videos embedded. I have GIFs. See? I have everything. So this is what we did just now. You see? It is better this way. It looks nicer. It it, it talks to your re, to your student. Okay, instead of having file after file after file, you have something like this. So this is what I meant by personalizing your Moodle for your student. It also easy. It is also easy access for your student to actually you know log in to Padlet and whatnot. So basically that's it. So whatever you need to upload, you upload it here okay so that's it for my personalizing moodle is basically just making it your own you can't really change the background and whatnot okay so that's it thank you